Morning guys, it's Darren the Window Cleaner, Green Pro Cleaner Limited, Window Cleaning in Nottingham and Derbyshire. I recently made a video, um, you might have seen, on when to employ staff, when is the right time to start employing staff. And in that video, or the comments beneath it, uh, I made the comment about uh, our staff are paid £8 an hour starting out. And uh, somebody chose this one fact, uh, what we call on YouTube and what we call in life in general. One of the haters um, chose to just pick this one fact without listening to the video properly, jump on it and start lecturing me about how um, £8 an hour is only 17 pence an hour above minimum wage and how would I like to be treated and treat others as you yourself wish to be treated and blah blah and all this waffle and drivel that the haters come up with um, when they pick just one fact instead of listening to the facts properly. And uh, I'm picking on this particular subject because I don't get in the habit of making these retaliatory videos, these revenge videos or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but you've got a fair point. So, yeah, it's 17 pence an hour above minimum wage. Woohoo! Um, and uh, and that's all there is to it. But you haven't listened to the video, mate. It's 17 pence an hour above minimum wage for your first three months, for your probationary period. Now, at the end of a probationary period around here, then one of two things happens. You're either still here, and that's that, or you're fired, and that's that. You, you've not successfully completed your probationary period, and you're gone. However, at the end of the probationary period, um, if they've lasted that long, odds are 99% are still going to be here, and that's all there is to it. At which point, the salary goes from £8 an hour to £10 an hour, which is only £2.17 um, above minimum wage. Um, so I think that's reasonably fair. I mean, bearing in mind it is a, um, it's a, a job where we've taught you all the skills over the three months, we've put in all the effort, we've supplied you with absolutely everything, and we pay you a salary whilst we're doing it. Um, on top of this, uh, I keep using the word salary and not wages. We don't pay wages around here, we pay salaries. There's no zero hours contracts around here. There's no part-time working contracts around here. All our staff are full-time employees, 35 hours a week, seven days a week, Monday to Friday, job done. They're all on salary. So when it's pissing down with rain on a Tuesday afternoon and they go home at 12 o'clock, they're still on a salary. They're still getting paid that full eight hour a day. Sure, those jobs will get caught up a little down the road. We'll work them in a little down the road and make sure we get caught up on them. When the lads are on fire and they're having a good day of it and they've gone out at eight in the morning and they've closed out every job satisfactorily on their job sheet by two o'clock in the afternoon, oh, guess what? They go home, they're still getting paid their full wage for the day, their full salary for the day. When they take their 5.6 weeks annual leave that they're entitled to by law every year, yeah, that's right, they're still getting their salary. So, you know, when you say to me, oh yeah, treat others as how you yourself wish to be treated, um, I do kind of think that we treat our staff quite a bit better than a lot of firms out there. Sports Direct would be just one prime example of it, and they're billionaires compared to a, a, a tiny little fish in the sea like myself, mate. They're the sharks of the industry. Um, but on top of that, we don't just pay the £8 an hour. Here's how our structure works. £8 an hour for the first three months, then on to £10 an hour. And we'll move forward from there. Then for every single day that they complete their job sheet, they get a £10 bonus. As long as the job sheet is completed satisfactorily, they get a £10 bonus. Now, by complete the job sheet, they don't ever get a job sheet that I personally can't do myself in the same amount of time. So I'm not one of these that goes, oh, I'll put another five jobs a day on there because I know he's never going to get it done. No, I want them to be sitting there going, oh, there's only one or two more jobs there. I'll get those out of the way. That's it. I'll get my bonus in. It's an extra 50 quid a week. It's an extra £200 a month on their salaries minimum. Um, so they get their job sheets completed satisfactorily. If they turn out to do a job and a gate is locked or they don't have access or they can't get the job done for any reason that is not their fault, that does not count against them. They've still gone there. They have still given it their best effort. They still get their bonus. If they turn up at home going, oh, well, yeah, I just wasn't really feeling up to it today, you know, so there's four jobs that I didn't bother doing at the end of the day. No, they don't get their bonus, but that's down to them. Um... Then they get a £25 bonus per week for every week that they complete their jobs with zero complaints. Um, now, some customers will complain over anything. That's just a fact of life. And we learn quick enough who they are. And the reason we learn this is because I go out and look at all the complaints. Um, 
and deem whether it's a worthy complaint. It has to be a worthy complaint. And if it is, well then the lads will get to make that job up on their own time. They'll get to go back and redo it until the customer is satisfied. And as long as they do that, they still get the £25 bonus at the end of the week, which equates to yet another £100 a month. Um, if they've got jobs with complaints that are justified, and they don't get them rectified, they don't get the bonus. That's just down to them. But by the time all said and done, they also get a sign-up bonus. When the next door neighbour walks up and says, oh, can you clean my windows too, please? Yes, love, it'll be X, Y, Z per month, and uh, this is how we do it, this is when we come, this is how you pay, etc., etc. They get £10 per customer for that. And typically, they can find themselves at least another three or four or five walk-ups a week, which again is another 150, 200 quid a month on their salary. And in short, whilst you're busy slating me for only paying 17 pence per hour above minimum wage, what you should have perhaps done is inquired as to do we only pay eight pound per hour? Because um, the answer to that is no. Our staff, after three months of working here, understanding the game and becoming a valuable asset to me, which is what they are, a valuable asset, um, end up on 24,000 pound plus per year cleaning windows on the books. I'll address a couple of other questions. I was asked by somebody else, uh, I think it was Johnny Retro, um, is that £8 per hour before or after tax? All the prices we quote are their, their gross. Um, they have to take out their tax, their national insurance. They don't deal with that, of course. That's all dealt with by our accountant. We're told what they get to take home at the end of the day, and then we pay their tax and national insurance. But that's £8 pre-tax or £10 pre-tax. So yes, their tax is still coming out of that. Whenever you apply for a proper job, <coughs> If it says £12 per hour, it's not £12 per hour, oh, plus tax, plus national insurance. No, it's £12 per hour, and then all of your deductibles come out of that. So that's just uh, that's just the way it is. Um, so that's how we deal with it around here. That's what our staff earn, um, twenty-five grand plus a year. Uh, the person that made the original comment also put down, oh, these people are making you £20, £30 pound an hour. I'm not putting £20, £30 pound an hour in my pocket. Even if my lads are out there doing £30 pound an hour, after three months, well, they're getting paid £10 plus per hour, closer to £13 an hour when you break it down. So on 30 quid, that leaves me £17. Take out an hour's running costs for my van, for my water, for my insurance, for my diesel, for my taxes, for everything else. And well, they actually get paid more than I do per hour. That's just a fact of life. But um, I'd like to thank the person that made the original comment for making it, for getting me into this rant. Um, and uh, as I say, I'm not in the habit of doing these retort videos, these retaliatory videos, but I hope you find something useful in this when you do get around to considering taking on employees. The person that made the comments, absolutely right. Treat those as you yourself would like to be treated. And I pay what I can afford to pay. I pay what is a fair and justified price. Um, the people that work for me, they work in good conditions. I don't work in harsh conditions. If there's two feet of snow on the ground and it's blowing minus eight, they're going to stay home for the day. But guess what? That's not their fault. They still get their salary. When they take their 5.6 weeks holiday a year, guess what? They still take their salary. Monday was bank holiday Monday. We have bank holidays off around here because... I think residential customers don't want you disturbing them on a bank holiday. So they had the Monday off. Guess what? They still get their salary. And so on and so forth. So you see where I'm coming from. So you can all be quick and jump on the one little fact that I throw out there from time to time. Or perhaps sometimes take a look at the bigger picture. Listen to the whole thing and, uh, and investigate. Take it on yourself to find out exactly what the facts are. Um, but uh, for those considering growing a business, sit back, figure out what you can afford to pay your staff, figure out if you can afford to take someone on. When you hire people from down the pub, oh yeah, I'll pay you cash in hand, eight pound an hour, that's like being 10 pound an hour on the books, isn't it? How long do you think this person's gonna last? You're paying them cash in hand, and then one day your tax man's gonna say, hold on a minute, mate, you've been paying out uh, you know, 300 pound a week, every week for the last two years to do, to, in, in cash. Where, where is that money? And what are you going to do? Sit back and go, oh yeah, that's just my beer money, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's my drinking money for the week. Or are you going to sit back and go, uh, oh, well, I'll pay that to, to Steve-O, my cash in hand elbow. He deals with all his own taxes and that. Steve-O ain't paid no taxes. Sorry to anyone called Steve-O. It's an imaginary character I've just invented. Um, Steve-O ain't paid his taxes, but who's liable for that now? It isn't actually him. It's you they're coming after. So this is why don't F about, lads. Don't sod about. 
put the people on the books, do it properly, give them a sense of security, job satisfaction, give them a sense of worth, and they'll stick with you. They'll look after you, and they will help you grow. They will help you prosper. Comments, negative or positive? Love the haters. Somebody's got to be one. Bang them in the box below. Um, if you like what we do, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Um, do check out our other channels. Um, if you go to our homepage, you'll see a list of other channels that we enjoy watching. Steve-O, Macintosh, um, Squeaky Clean. Uh, there's a, a few. There's a lot of good stuff in there. So do check them out. Take a look. Uh, thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll talk to you all soon. Ciao for now.